Good morning, friends. This is Coach Deb for my weekly check-in. This is accountability for me and accountability for you, hopefully. Um, as I've mentioned the last couple weeks, I am getting back into the regular routine of training after my half marathon. I'm doing Asylum Volume 2 on the fourth week. Yay! And I also started Brazil Butt Lift because Brazil Butt Lift is my go-to workout before I go into summer and bathing suit weather. Um, did it last year and had great results. The one thing that's still kind of perplexing me is the eating and what's new. That's the, the problem that most of us have in our health and fitness is eating right. And um, I just find that I'm still... I'm still kind of eating a little mindlessly and I think that that's because I've been really busy. I have a lot of projects going on and it's just, you know, emotional eating is that what it, that's what it's called. I mean, we we eat for a lot of different reasons and not very many of them are due to being hungry. So I have been <clears throat> trying to get back into using my fitness pal to help keep me accountable and I'm been doing a, about 50-50% on that, but well, I want to tell you a story. One of the things that's really, really inspiring me is my daughter, and my daughter's 16, and I can tell you that since I started on this journey, not just as a Beachbody coach, but just on this journey of really, of really working on making health and fitness a lifestyle for me, the changes that it has brought about in my family has been absolutely um, incredible. I mean, it's it's there are things that that if you told your family these are what we're going to start doing, this is what we're going to start doing, and these are the things you need to do, they wouldn't do it because people really don't like to be told what to do. But just by the fact that I said this is what I'm going to do, and I've been consistent with it, and I've stuck to it, and I've made it a part of my lifestyle, it's rubbed off on everybody else in my family. So. The story I'm going to talk about today is my daughter. Um, she is now, she's an athlete, she's a basketball player, and she's doing Insanity as part of her off-season training. And she absolutely loves Insanity, loves Shanti, has done Asylum, has done Shalene Extreme. And she said to me the other day, she said, you know, Mom, after I finish Asi um, Insanity, she says, I think I'm going to go do Shalene's Extreme again because she says that was the first time that I ever had any that I ever saw any muscle in my body and I just think that's pretty cool that she you know she's not just thinking about you know her size and you know does she, you know what does she look like in her jeans and things like that but she's really she's focused on muscle she liked the fact that when she made a bicep there was something there so that that made me feel good but she's doing insanity but she's also really staying accountable to her eating and I, I think this is important to understand because a lot of young girls they go through a lot of crazy things with their body image and things like that but my daughter she she's telling me about conversations she's having with girls at school that are doing some kind of weird things with their food in order to lose weight and you know she'll tell me these things like man can you believe that can you believe that they think this is going to work? And then she'll tell me some of the things that she's advising them to do. So I love the fact that my daughter is now understanding that it's not just about the calories of your food. It's about the quality of your food. And it's not about starving your body. It's about feeding your body and fueling your body. I mean, she'll tell me about girlfriends that are skipping lunch and skipping breakfast and you know, eating, a, you know, a, a drinking a Gatorade and a pack of, you know, 100 calorie cheese nips for lunch because they're trying. And she's like, she's she's going like this. Oh my gosh, can you believe they're doing this? And then she she will again in her best way try to you know tell them about what she knows. Um, so I just love the fact that my daughter's learning about health and fitness and healthy bodies and healthy eating. Um, so she's inspiring me. She's using her my fitness pal and I'm telling you yesterday I just said to myself, you know what? If Sydney can do this, so can I. <laughs> so I am gonna I'm gonna let my daughter be my inspiration. So I ask you, what is your inspiration? And who are you inspiring and who's inspiring you? 
And if you don't have anyone that's inspiring you, then find somebody. Surround yourself by people that are making you feel better and, it's, and encouraging you to do better things in your life and to be a better you. And then think about who you're inspiring by your actions and what are your actions inspiring them to do. So again, it's progress, not perfection. If any, nobody here in this car is perfect, I can tell you that. So you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you guys next week. And be sure to hit me up with any questions or comments that you have. You know where to find me. Bye.